Here we are with Air Tools and the maps once again. This is the next step after you have created your map like we saw on the previous menu. We're now going to show you how to get it from the Air Tools into your instrument and be able to see it. Now it is important that you keep in mind that the maps we talk about with the Digifly are topographic maps which are really what uh, we need when we're flying. These maps do not contain uh, roads or pictures or things like that. It's just topographic information. Now, in order to be able to see any of that information on your Digifly, you need to set up your instrument for that. Now, the Digifly by default comes with the maps functions disabled. So I'm not going to give you a lot of details here because you can read all this, um, all the details about this on chapter 12, your map chapter. And we don't want this to be very long or confusing. So you just need to know that before I did this, I went to the main menu on my Digifly and the elevation mode needs to be set to one, two or three, depending on what you'd like to see. On your map instrument, the elevation base needs to be set in case you have set elevation mode 3 and you need to set the elevation step which um, it tells the instrument how often it needs to change the grayscale. In other words it's related to the contour lines of the topographic map. And of course you need to have your micro SD ready. Okay let's go back to Air Tools. Here we are. I have this map already saved on my computer and now I want to send it to the SD card. Like we said, we like to have the name, the coordinates and the radius just to um, use in, in case we want to create adjacent maps. Now remember that you just need to save it to the main menu of the SD card. You don't need to create any extra folders. I just saved it. I'm going to check that it is indeed on my SD card. There it is. Very good. And now I am going to get my micro SD card so I can put it in my Digifly. Okay, here it is. I take it out of the adapter. Always careful handling these little things. Now I'm going to put it on the Digifly Air the instrument is off. I take the writing facing up, facing towards the keyboard. I carefully insert it, make sure it goes in. And then I like to use another SD card to get it to click and uh, sit properly. There it is. I don't know if you were able to hear the click, but as you can see, it is fully inserted. Now let's proceed to check whether um, the Digifly has correctly uh, been able to uh, set or uh, mount the SD card and I do that by turning the Digifly on and keeping this button pressed for a little while so I can see the, in the information. There it is and I can read that it says micro SD OK. That means everything is fine and I let go so it can continue turning on. Now I'm going to wait for the GPS location sound and I go to page 12. There it is. Now we're going to get the airplane. You saw how it, the map is drawn and that is our position. Now in future videos or on the instructions manual you will be able to see how you can best use your map instrument and what you can see on it. You can see again with Air Tools and the Digifly system, it is quite simple, fast, and easy to use. Thank you.